So for the past couple of days through the robotics online community, I managed to find a single image of a robot called Vetbo. And I was very curious about this. And I searched robot uh, Vetbo online on Google and there were surprisingly few articles that was est established on the March of 2020 this year Yahoo for example that is um, but they were only showing two images but not really any video clips I can find on YouTube uh, until the point I actually reached managed to reach to a person uh, YouTube user called TV Mokko uh, Chajang, which literally translates in English as uh, let's eat and sleep. But he actually makes a lot of uh, robotic videos, so please do check out uh, his YouTube channel and please do subscribe. I'll put the link down below. Um, anyhow, um, so I managed to find the golden link and which shows all the video clips and the images. So let's get, with, get on with the video clips. So here it goes. So the head pops up arm moves just like vector so if you press the button on the top head pops up and you can ask question that eye expression is literally identical to vector and it's called Eevee the weather the way I've shown is is not as good as vector okay so the edge uh, it knows the edge protection so it purrs like Vector as well, and the eye movement is exactly like Vector. Amazing. And it gets angry just like when you hold up Vector. And that stroke button on the top goes into front of Vector is the trigger button. And it speaks Chinese. That's about it actually. So this is actually uh, just over 200 US dollars and if I can actually order it technically and I'll get it within 20 to 40 days to United Kingdom uh, that's what it says on the, online and if we look at the images here the first one it says smart pet so you can get two varieties one white version and one black version and the wheels look so identical to vector I can't believe they actually managed to do this um, and this child is actually hold well playing some cards with a CGI image of the Vetbo. So I presume they're trying to show that you can actually use some card to do some coding. Um, yeah, so that design is very similar, black and white to Vector. And this is the thing, this image of this lady whispering to Vetbo. You can see that Vetbo is CGI'd, but this lady, this very lady is the same lady that was whispering to Vector. Um, so I'll show you the screen, it's quite funny actually. I can't believe they could get away with this. Anyway, so there's this angry version of Vetbo ho holding up his hands and um, you can actually use app, I guess, to interact with um, Vetbo um, and some change of eye color, which is not a surprise, and some apps and etc. So the, uh, there's the way how to function it. On the back, there's this set switch, uh, touch induction and microphone. And also you have this speaker on his head that pops up when you press the button as you saw from that uh, video clip. So that's the size showing the, comparing to the size of your hand on white version and the package on the white vet bow uh, and etc. Which looks in somehow I think similar to Vector as well. So um, yeah this is quite a shock actually because I mean we, we've been talking about this whole emo being similar to uh, vector but comparing to what emo has done uh, this webbo has done even worse of copying like way more copying of vector but the whole thing is I think this is actually designed since it's speaking only Chinese I'm 99% sure that it's only speaking Chinese I think this is only going to be available for uh, Chinese people um, well, but then again, we got a lot of different Chinese language, but we, I just don't want to go into that, all these details. But anyway, anyhow, it kind of shows how big this market is. I think it's kind of a, like a lesson, a reminder for DDL of what they can do for the upcoming Cosmo 2.0 or the Vector 2.0. There are a lot of people willing to buy this robot, um, this household robot but the problem with vector as we know is that when you're trying to trigger vector 
it doesn't understand you unless you speak very good English. So you can imagine a lot of people, non-English speaking people will get really frustrated. I guess that's one of the reasons why we're seeing an outcome of Vetbo coming out. So if DDL somehow could program it so that it, that Vector 2.0 or Cosmo 2.0 can speak other languages other than um, English, Australian English, or you know all these British uh, English accent, um, then it will be a good sell. There are tons of people, millions and probably billions of people are willing to buy it. So it's something of a, a reminder, I would say. But regards to the copyright, well, I don't think DDL is going to be pleased. I mean, this is actually even worse than what Emo has done, personally. So the patent-wise, I think they're going to be in a big, big trouble. But uh, there's also some reminder anyway. Uh, enough said. I hope this gave you further information. Uh, overall, again, I want to thank uh, the YouTube user called TV Mokko Jajang. I'll put down the link down below. Please do subscribe to his channel. If you have any questions, um, if you want to find out more information from me, I might give it out to you depend on how well you behave, but I hope that's enough for what you need for the robot vet, vet pro for the time being. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. Have a lovely evening. All the best. Bye bye.